Paige Claudius Parks. Perks. Uh, that was perfect. Yeah. I know my name is difficult, so I'm just going to Thank you. Madam Welcome. Chair, thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the committee. My name is Paige Cautious Parks. I'm Senior Policy Analyst at the Ivy Kids Count. Thank you for the opportunity to testify today. Um, I have Kids Count would like to voice its support of House Bill 7157. Um, at the current minimum wage of $10.50 a parent who works 40 hours a week, 52 weeks out of the year, so it's no time off for sickness vacation or to be with their children for different school activities. Uh, they would earn $21,840 a year, which is just slightly above the poverty level. Um, however, as we all know, that amount is not enough for a family to meet their basic needs, <coughs> food, rent, clothing, health care, and child care, and cannot provide their children with the opportunities that they need to thrive. As we heard from the super amazingly brave testimony before me, this has tremendous impact on families and especially our children. Um, I'd like to note, and it's also um, included in my written testimony, that 29 other states <coughs> in the District of Columbia all have minimum wages that are higher than the federal wage, and they also account for a cost of living, and many of those states have a goal of increasing their minimum wage um, towards the $15 per hour goal, similar to this bill. And so I'd just like to thank the General Assembly for your leadership in helping working families and their children. Um, poverty, as we know, is directly impacts the 71 indicators of child well-being. So this is a very important issue. And thank you very much for your attention to us. Thank you for coming and advocating for justice for individuals that are really out there doing the right thing and trying to survive. Um, just think, stress, stress comes about when you can't make ends meet. Frustration comes when you can't make ends meet. You know, bad decisions come when you can't make ends meet. You know, and then we, those that are fortunate enough to make 30000 you know, even though it's not enough, or 50000 and worse, those that um, dismiss that there are folks that are really struggling, uh, shame on them. 21000 that's sometimes their lunch money for the day, you know. So um, thank you for coming, and thank everybody that's here for the savings. Thank you.